Hi guys, welcome back to ASX Market Watch. Hey, thank you very much for stopping by and checking out the markets with me. It's really great to have an excuse to have a chat about the markets and check out where the overall indices are heading、um, around the world. And so, thank you very much for checking it out with me today. I'm looking at four indices, like all the big guys this week:、um, the ASX Top 200, the FTSE in Europe, the Dow Jones in、uh, in America, and the Hang Seng in China.、Um, why? Just because, like these are our these. The big guys, obviously, the Australian market not so much, but that's where、uh, I am anyway. So <laughs> I like to check out that because,、uh, quite frankly, it's the market that I trade. <laughs> so it, it does pay to check it out. Now, why do we look at the indices? Because、uh, William O'Neill, one of the market wizards out of Jack Schwager's、uh, uh, books. Market wizards. He says that three out of four stocks will follow the overall market, and for that reason, I like to look at the overall market, where it's heading, and that will tend to determine where I am,、um, which way I'm trading in my overall trading as well for individual stocks. So let's get into it. The first one, as I said, is the ASX Top 200.、Um, now, really, all I'm doing here, the first one, is my my simple trend lines. Anyone who's looked at my videos, you got these crazy trend lines that、uh, that tend to to jump in and out on the chart. Hundred. These two trend. Lines. One was crossed. The downtrend was crossed in July 2009. So that's right there. We had a beautiful little bull run. Even、um, from March 2009, we did get an earlier signal, but this was the solid signal. So、um, in March 2000,、uh, in April,、uh, June 2009, June July, got this beautiful bull run up for a couple of months, four to six months, and now we've had、uh, around six months of sideways action. Now, just recently, what we've had is、um, our Uptrend line has been crossed. Now、um, we got our signal, our early signal, back in、um, in、uh, the end of April, so around the beginning of May. And、um, for the last two weeks, the market has tanked. So let's check it out and let's see where we're at at the moment. If I just enlarge that for you a little bit, here we go. Now we were also looking at this broadening wedge formation, which happened in、um, September 2001, and it also happened in. Uh, August 2007. Now, both of these instances led to the market tanking through the bottom layer here. Our bottom layer is at 4,400 on the、uh, ASX Top 200 at the moment. It tanked through that, then it overcorrected to the upside. Then we had a bear market following it. So,、um, oh, this, this is quite a possible scenario on the ASX Top 200 and in other indices around the world as well at the moment. But short term, we do have a, a, a downtrend line. So I'll just get rid of a few of these things actually. There we go. Get rid of that one too, and that one.、Um, so, short term, this is our downtrend line. So, as you can see, the market is still below that downtrend line. So, really, it would have to cross back above it and make a higher peak and a higher trough. So, that would be like a, a little zigzag formation upwards, and it would sort of go back up through there. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Bang, Bob's your uncle. That would be a short-term buy signal back on the ASX Top 200. Now,、um, what we're looking for, if because、uh, as you know already, we're in a short-term down trend. Now, that was because we crossed this this little trend line here, and we had a zigzag move down. So it went down, had one bar up, and then it travelled back through the previous trough. So that was our early sell signal. Now, what we're looking for is either a confirmation of a long-term bear market or another. Um, short-term up up signal or a, a buy signal. So really, either one. What we're looking for, as you, as I said, short-term, it's in a downtrend at the moment. Now, if we look at this on a weekly chart, which one of these bars, each one of these bars will be one week. Here we go. That's the same little section there. So as you can see, we've had four down, three down bars,、um, three to four. One's a one was an inside bar, so three down bars. What we're looking for for confirmation of a full-on bear market would be another up bar, which is definitely probable. It will, it could happen,、um, and then for the market to travel back through the previous weekly trough. So that would be for it to go down below four thousand four hundred and forty-four. Well, just to keep that like a, a lot of fours and a nice memorable number, four thousand four hundred forty-four. That is the number that I would be looking for for a long-term bear market、um, confirmation on the ASX top two hundred. So I hope that one helps, guys.、Um, the next one I'm looking at is the FTSE. Now we're having a really similar、uh, sort of pattern. Check out that. I'll get rid of this one. There we go. 
What does that look like? A broadening wedge formation. It's happening all around the world. It cannot be stopped. <laughs> and people say that the indices aren't linked, even though they're different economies. They're still linked. It's actually quite amazing. Um, but yes, very similar thing here. So what we can expect, again, on the FTSE, it has closed below its uptrend line. Um, so there we go. As you can see, it has closed below it. And the support of the uptrend line turned into resistance, which is what tends to happen with support and resistance. I'm, go I'm sure you guys already know this, but um, once support is crossed, it tends to turn into resistance. And once resistance is crossed, it tends to turn into support. So that's what's happened here. And um, as you can see, the market rejected the price of 5,500. Now it's heading back down again. So short term, the FTSE is definitely in a downtrend. Um, we're looking for the same thing. A, a Dow theory exit signal um, on a weekly chart for the market to be um, to be a full-on bear confirmation, but at the moment it's a short-term sell signal. So um, and what we'd need for it to to be a short-term buy if it was to reverse and go ahead upwards again, we'd need it to um, pretty much close above 5,444. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of fours in the market at the moment. I don't know if anyone's into uh, crazy things like numerology, but uh, but that might be something to check out if you were superstitious like that. Um, either way, um, 5,444 would be. Um, that's basically the previous peak, and if it crossed above that, it would cr also cross above the that little short-term downtrend line there as well. So that would be a short-term buy signal. In the meantime, the market is short-term sell um, for those reasons we mentioned before. And we're also looking, this is the weekly chart on the FTSE here, for a, a higher peak and then for it to go down through the previous trough at around 5,000 um, for the FTSE. There's a lot of support at 5,000 on the FTSE, so maybe it will never get there, as you can see. Check out that. Three little instances there, right there. Beautiful. Um, but anyway, next one is the Dow Jones. I hope that's helped on the FTSE. The Dow Jones is the only market that is looking stronger than everyone else. Um, we've uh, Yes, it has crossed its uptrend line. So th this is a daily bar chart, as you can see. Um, whoop, there we go. Now, each one of these bars is one day. And as you can see, it has crossed it. But the thing that about the Dow Jones is it has these long tails. Now, what that means is that price... Um, went all the way down, but then it closed back up a long way away from its lows of the day. So what that tends to mean is that there's a fair few buyers around that area. And we've got some, oh, one there as well. Oh, I'll get rid of that one. Got one there. And as you can see, the levels are all between 10,000 and 10,500. So in reality, we've got a lot of support on the Dow, on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, between 10,500 and 10,000. So in all honesty, I believe that, um, that the Dow Jones is in the strongest position. It, yes, it has confirmed a short-term sell signal. That short-term sell signal was confirmed here. As you can see, it crossed its shorter-term uptrend line and then had a zigzag pattern down. Um, that was in on the 4th of May. So it was, it was also... It took longer for the Dow Jones to confirm uh, a short-term sell signal as well. So really, I think the Dow Jones has the most strength out of any of the markets at the moment, um, especially when you compare it to uh, Europe. Um, well, pretty much anything. The Hang Seng is also really starting to look very weak, which is the last one that I'm looking at. So this one here is the Hang Seng. Um, again, a daily bar chart. Um, and try to make it quick just so that I don't take up too much of your time. But as you can see, we had the downtrend line was crossed for the Hang Seng in April. Um, so there, they got their solid signal well before everyone else in April 2009. And now it has really crossed below its um, previous, uh, its, its uptrend line. And um, there's no more support really for the Hang Seng at the moment on, the, on a daily bar chart. Um, and it's crossed it in in again in April 2010. So it may be the first market to um, to start falling um, as it was also the first market to start rising. This is the weekly chart, and as you can see, we haven't had the Dow Theory exit yet. So what we'd be looking for is that move down. would take maybe a, a few weeks upwards of upwards movement, and then going back down through the previous trough, 
for the Hang Seng, that would be at 19,700. So we got rid of the fours, thank goodness, anyway. <laughs> but that is the story on the charts at the moment, at least how price is telling it. And what does price tell us? Price tends to tell us supply and demand. So who's buying, who's selling? Well, maybe not the who, but, um, but definitely what is being sold and what is being bought. If prices are falling, tends to mean that things are being sold and at the moment things are definitely falling so anyway i hope that's helped guys please check out the website it's asxmarketwatch.com there's a whole bunch of free stuff on there a whole bunch of free tools for checking out the markets and um, if you want to learn about the markets and want to find out ways to save more money and lose less money in the markets check out that website it's really good um, it's good stuff it's all free so um yeah and it'd be great to have you stop by and swing us a message or something like that but other than that i will see you next week and um happy trending 